Good morning YouTube, you can hear uh, the sound behind me. There's a lot going on. I've just arrived in Playa in Bossa. I was converted to the traffic, so I have to walk. As you can see, the road is a mess. So we're gonna make our way up to Bora Bora, see what's going on up there. I heard there's a bit of construction going on, so I know everybody was asking me to go and check out uh, what's happening, so let's see what's going on. So you see, for yourself, the road is all dug up. It looks like they're putting in a one-way system. I could be completely wrong, um, but it doesn't seem like there's much uh, room between the footpaths for two lanes. But I could be way off there. I don't, I don't think it would be a one-way system now, thinking about it. I mean, where would the... how would that work? So we're just approaching the jet now. So how has everyone been doing? It is a beautiful day here today. As you can see, there's not many people about playing in Bossa. There never is in the winter. And that's why I live in San Antonio. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. The Bora Bora sign's gone. Ah, oh, the end of an era, really, look. The end of Bora Bora guys, there you have it, the digger is in and the place is completely ripped to pieces. I'll peer over the wall in a little second but just look how beautiful it is here in February. I am I'm the only one on the beach. So uh, there's not really much to show, probably shouldn't really do this but we'll have a little peek in, see what's going on. Yeah, it's just, it's just, uh, yeah, there's not really much to show, but gives you an idea now how the island is changing. What's going to happen to Bora Bora? I'm not going to say I know exactly. I have a feeling it will be a much higher end place based on the people who've taken it over. So with their other venues. And obviously it's in an ideal location to make something really um, jazzy, which is the way things are going at the moment. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I've had some of the best memories here on this beach and in the jet apartments on the Sundays. Incredible. Just grabbing a bag of cans with the boys and just, just enjoying it. But things change and that's sadly what's happening. I'm not, I'm on the fence. It's good. It's bad. It's but I'm getting older, so it doesn't really affect me too much. So we'll go back on the road because I'm walking on that. So we are just making our way up to Ishwaya and Hai now. And um, the reason I'm going up here is because the shopping center was obviously under construction. I'm looking at it now and wow, they have made some massive movements on that since my last video. I think my last video was only like two months ago, so you're about to see this in a second. Um, over behind High, you have the old water park. Rumour has it that's going to be a beach club, but it's still a water park. My mate told me they were doing construction on it. I argued with him. I said they're not. They're definitely not, because all the slides are still up. So uh, we'll have a look at both. A little bit of work going on in Ishwaya by the sounds of it. Sorry, the sun's in my eyes, so I'm not looking at the camera. They are making moves fast. That's insane, considering if you did watch the last video, like how, how different is that in the space of a couple of weeks? We'll have a little walk around, maybe go back towards Nassau Beach Club and come back, because I'm parked back at Sankey's or Octan, because um, the roads are obviously all closed off. But yeah, look at that. That's actually blew my mind. It's like its own little village within the Hard Rock Hotel. Um, we're just walking towards Nassau Beach Club now. Um, as I said, I want to go down that route and see what's going on on the beach. We're just passing Sublimotion. Uh, Sublimotion is the world's most expensive restaurant, or it was. And it's basically a little room and it only seats 12 to 15 people, I think. Um, I've never been in there because <laughs> I think it's like 2,000 to 3,000 ahead. But that's it, and it is possibly one of the 
unbe most unbelievable things I've ever seen. Um, I haven't been there in person, so if there's anyone from Sublimotion that may be watching this in the marketing department, throw your boy an invite and I will happily come and experience Sublimotion. The likelihood of that happening is very slim. And this is the entrance to Hard Rock Hotel, where they do Children of the 80s. Really good fun night. I'm sure you most of you know that anyway. Second thought, I just cut down towards Beach House and we're going to go back towards the Hard Rock but on the beach. Oh, also I want to thank everyone, honestly, from the bottom of my heart who purchased the Ibiza guide. Um, I did mention that I do need to finish it. I should have been finished yesterday. It might take me a day or two, but anyone who's paid me directly already, um, I'll reach out to you, get your email address and send it back. I can do that through the payment link. What a day. Not happy guys, I've just come to the beach to show you a vlog and now I've bust my shoe. Money, 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 now I need new shoes. They are only cheap from Zara, so not too bad. But yeah, now we're approaching the Hard Rock Hotel. I'm gonna make my way to the car and then maybe go into Ibiza town. I'll show you what's going on in San Antonio. Um, there's a lot going on in San Antonio, mental. But yeah, let's do that, let's do that. I was going to go and have a look at the aqua park from here there's nothing going on and I'm going to show you that I'm going to save myself that five minutes in the sun just got back to San Antonio I had a Run in with some of the guys over in Playa and Bossa and had a quick bit of lunch in Figueratus. So we're gonna see what's happening in San Antonio like I did before in the last vlog. So if you know the Abrat Hotel, um, you'll see there was foundations um, going down about two months ago. And now look at it. Just on the road to Caligracio. Those are going to be um, residential apartments. And this is now I'm here. Okay, a lot of people ask me how I get to the church. If you know this roundabout, this car park, make your way over here and walk all the way up the top. That answers a lot of questions. I get that so many times. People directly go up the hill, don't do that. Go through the car park. Car park here on the Caligracia Road. I think it's fair to say there is a lot going on in Ibiza and I haven't even touched the sides. Everywhere you look, there seems to be a crane. Whoever is renting the cranes is making a fortune. So as you can see from this video, there's a lot of work going on in San Antonio. Sadly, my camera died, so I had to go and buy a charger just around sunset time. Um, I've just been to the pharmacy because one of the reasons I don't do so many videos this last couple of weeks is because of my skin. Can't put my finger on it, but I just flare up with massive, um, you could probably see it there, redness and just it just plays with your confidence. So we'll, we'll maybe have a little look at the West End and then I'll finish the vlog up and try and get it edited. Hopefully you have enjoyed this one. Um, I'm actually in pain. It's been, <laughs> I've done some shift today to be fair, like I have walked everywhere. Um, so yeah, the lights aren't really on in the West End, but I'm just going to give you a bit of a quick walk up it. It's um, been cemented, redone, and they are, well, I believe they're going to paint it or tile it. 
a famous artist is going to apparently do the tile work. You can see here it's it's almost finished. It is a little bit dark. There's actually a bar opened. Um, the old bar called, which was Joe Spoon's, is now called Sonia or something. Um, I think it's open seven days a week. But as you can see, there's not really anybody about. Hopefully it's not too dark. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna end the vlog on that. There's not much more to really show. I'm gonna go home, edit this and yeah, hope you're all good. Once again, thanks to everyone who did buy the Ibiza guide. I will get back to um, editing that probably tomorrow. I'm gonna edit the vlog first, then do the Ibiza guide tomorrow. That's gonna take probably a whole day. As you can see, the bar is open. Never actually been in it. So I'm gonna end that one now and uh, take care and I'll see you soon.